These and these and any other speaker with an aux jack can be connected to your TV. You can also connect these types of stereos to your TV. It's pretty simple, but we're gonna go over all the fine little details to make sure that you get your connection just right. Here on Simple Cafe Sound, tutorials to the point. Notice how on both steps one and two, an aux port is required. Right, but let me tell you that there are actually two types of aux ports and we need to make sure that our TV has the right aux port and that our speaker has the right aux port. Let's start with your TV. Okay, I hope your TV has an aux port and if it does, great, but you gotta make sure of one thing. It has to say either audio out, line out, or even a headphones icon. And when it comes to the aux port on your speaker system, well, let's look at some examples. If you happen to have a portable speaker like this one, you may find a port labeled audio in. Here's another portable speaker, but this one labels it aux, while this mini receiver calls it aux in. The soundbar marks it as line in, and my home theater calls it portable in. And we're not even done yet. This older stereo calls it PC in. You might be wondering, why so many names? I reckon these companies are just trying to guess what you're actually going to connect to it. At the end of the day, all you need to do is find an aux port to get your audio into your sound system. Step right into my channel to find many more audio connections. I get that all this in and out stuff may be throwing you for a loop, so let's have a quick look at clarifying what that's actually all about. The thing is that all signals travel in a certain direction, right? That's either into something or out of something. So if you only found an aux port that says audio in, I'm sorry, but that's not gonna work to get your audio out to any external speakers. You see, in is to get audio signals from other devices into your TV to be played through your TV speakers, while out will get your TV's audio signal out to be played out through external speakers. If your TV doesn't have an aux out port, well, all isn't completely lost because I made this other video that might help you out. So here's a diagram of your connection with an active speaker system, and here's how you'll connect a passive speaker system. Now just turn everything on, play some audio, and make sure the volume is up, on both your speaker and TV possibly. And if you're still not getting audio through your connected speakers, here's what you need to do. You'll have to go and let your TV know that you want the sound to come out through external speakers. So go right into your audio settings and select external speakers or something similar to that. Or you know what, it could also say headphones, so select that if you see it. I recommend this video up here if you want to see other TV connections and YouTube recommends the one here at the bottom. Like to help me out, share to help out others, and subscribe if you want to stay in the loop. And if you have some money you don't want, here's the YouTube thanks button. Cheers and I hope you get connected.